Hello, today we're doing something called Deter's Day Thursday. Come on, let's walk around for no reason. A few weeks ago I did a video free of links and annotations and call to actions and calls to action and call to's action. Sort of a response to all the stuff we're bombarded with every day on the internet. I got up, away from my computer, and walked around. It was nice. So today, doing it all again so I can free us up from the noise. Granted, you're probably watching this on the internet, and there's probably pop-up ads and links all over the place. A lot of them probably have my face on it. Sorry about that. I tend to make a lot of videos, and I tend to have a face. I'm trying to work on that, though. I'm covering it up with hair. Ah, feels good to be out in the open, roaming free. You know, when I was a kid, before this whole internet thing, I would go out and play in the park. No, I played video games a lot. A lot. But I played sports video games sometimes. Those take place at the park, so I know my way around a bit. In fact, almost every video game takes place outside. Except for boss levels, those are usually dungeons or castles. Thanks to Mario, every time I enter a castle to this day, I assume a princess is in another one. And I'm usually right. Also, after killing so many bosses in video games, when I finally got a day job, I thought the goal was to murder my boss and thwart his plans. Turns out my coworkers thought the same thing. Nowadays, I'm my own boss. That causes a bit of inner conflict, which is why I've concocted a scheme to destroy myself via suffocation. The plan is to stuff and block my mouth hole with delicious food and drink, but that stupid meddling me keeps figuring out how to consume it and enjoy it. Sick, sick man. Sick, beautiful man. I guess it'll be a sort of slow death via obesity. <laughs> okay, I'm in a public place. It's scary to think what life was like before video games. I guess people went outside more. Well, maybe not everyone. Depends on who you are. I think back then you had four options. You could be a jock, a nerd, a druggy hippie, or just good looking. Good looking people could just be. I'm thinking like 50s, 60s. Then maybe a decade later, punk comes in. So you could be a punk. And then my generation comes along and you have all of those, except replace hippie with, I guess, Kurt Cobainster flannelly. I guess you could call it slacker. And then you add video game nerds, which is probably what I was, metalheads, and douchebags. Douchebags didn't know they were douchebags, but they were a thing. Moving right along to today, and oh my god, to be a kid today is confusing. There are so many things you could be that society accepts. Bloggers, vloggers, I mean, look at me. I'm making a video on a friggin' median, and no one cares. You got your indie rockers, Audi rockers, Whovians, nerd fighters, beard lovers, little monsters, bronies, dudes into My Little Pony, which I'm amazed is a thing. There are people who live in an alternate world run by steam-powered machines called steampunks. And probably most amazing of all, vegans. In a lot of places now, it's even acceptable to be gay. Gay. I'd totally do it if I wasn't straight. Now many of these things existed before, but they weren't as widely acknowledged. If they were, I probably would have been a nerd fighter, wouldn't have been a beard lover, Wheezy Waiter looks too much like my dad. Anyway, the point of today is to get away from all of these things. Sometimes it's nice to step away from whatever community you associate with and just let your mind wander. Even you, bronies. If you're a creative person, it's a great way to eliminate all the noise and find your unique voice. If you're someone who just enjoys life, human punk will call you. It's a great way to reduce stress and remind yourself what there is out there to enjoy. It's a good way to just be yourself. Yeah, I'm into self-core. I think I'm gonna go play video games.